What's going on guys? This is my 1999 Jeep Wrangler TJ. And on front is the Bulldog stubby front winch bumper. Now, I've seen a couple videos now of people giving like one or two year reviews of parts that they put on their Jeep or other off-road truck. And I thought that's a brilliant idea because unlike a lot of other vehicles that you put modifications on, well, unless you're a poser or a mall crawler, a Jeep or a truck really does get its use. This bumper has seen a lot of sh** coming straight on. So it only makes sense to give not only an unboxing video, but a video of how it's working in its environment, in its element. And that is out here in the sand, the rocks, the mud, wherever you take your vehicle. Now when I'm looking at Jeep parts, I'm looking for a long time. To find this front bumper, it took me a couple months. You know, you read reviews and some person loves it and they use their Jeep all the time and then another person doesn't even take their Jeep off-road and the bumper's chipping or whatever. So I decided to just go, go for it and buy a bumper. So as I said before, this is the Bulldog Stubby Winch Bumper for Jeep TJs and YJs. Now, like many of you, there's a big dilemma in the Jeep front bumper world. You can go full width bumper, which as it's the name states, it goes all the way the full width of the vehicle. You can get a mid-width, which goes a little bit out towards the fenders, a little bit more further out there. Or you can get a stubby. A stubby leaves the whole wheel opening so that you can climb over steeper obstacles, so they say. The main advantage of a full width, you have the protection over here. You have the protection of the fenders, the grill, all that, if you have a side impact. That is as long as your tires aren't sticking out further than the fenders. Now, protection, that is very important to me. That's what she said. <laughs> Please. And that is something I considered living in New England and having deer running across the road. Whoa, what if I hit one? What if it creams my Jeep and crumples the fender in and totals all that? That was a serious consideration. I was like, ah, oh, well, if I get stubby, you know, I won't have as much protection. So I thought about the pros and cons of the stubby. Now with the, the mid-width, I didn't really consider buying. I couldn't even find that many for the Jeep TJ that looked good or were you know, as functional as I wanted them to be. So with a stubby, I had better off-road performance. I could climb bigger things, bigger obstacles, because I had this hole opening near the wheel arch. And a stubby also looks completely badass. I love the look of a stubby bumper on a Jeep. Now on my Jeep, the tires do stick out past the fenders. I know it, I don't know if that's legal or not, but they do. When I got the new wheel and tire combo, the tires got pushed out about an inch past the fenders. So if I was to have a side impact, then most likely where it's coming from, it could hit the tire first. So then having a full width bumper wouldn't even save me anything. So finally I made my choice. I went with the stubby bumper. Now, as I said before, there are a lot of options out there for stubby front bumpers for this Jeep. Companies have been making them for years and years. So finally, when I was looking at bumpers, I knew what I wanted. Price was a big factor to me, but most importantly was durability. I actually use my Jeep, I use it a ton. I wanted something that was gonna stand up, stand up to the elements, stand up if I hit something accidentally off-road. That's what it's made for, right? It's on a Jeep. So I went with the Bulldog Bumper. Now I'd never heard of this brand before. I don't even know if they make other products for Jeep, but they did make this front bumper and I had seen it for years and years. At the time, this bumper was like $220, and that was for just the bumper. The hoop is welded on, you have light bar tabs already welded on, none of that stuff is extra, unlike I believe it's the Rough Country stubby front bumper for the Jeep TJ. But I had a problem, I wanted to mount a winch. Eventually I was gonna get a winch and I needed some way to mount it. They had two options. They had this, the heavy duty winch plate, or they had just a standard winch plate. Now the standard winch plate laid flat, it looked like it was made of thinner steel, I don't know why they made two options, but I decided, of course, to go with the heavy duty winch plate. And the main reason for that was I liked that it was raised up off of the bumper. This winch sits a good two inches higher than a normal winch plate mounts. I know the winches are waterproof and all, but I knew if I was going under some deep water, if I could keep my winch up out of the water at all costs, then I would do that. Now this winch plate was about $125 as opposed to 85 for the standard winch plate, but I figured I don't wanna lose my winch. A winch is a big investment and that is your lifeline when you're off road. If you get stuck or something and there's no one else with you, which often I'm by myself, that's a big deal. 
Now when I got this bumper, the picture showed a different item than what I actually got. It was the same bumper, but it had a different finish on it. In the image, the, the bumper was painted this, it almost looked like bed liner. It was like a matte, matte blackish gray finish. Now I liked that because the Jeep theme I'm going with is all black. Everything's black. I got the bumper. It's this glossy textured finish. Now I actually like this more than what I saw in the picture, but other people could have gotten a different product when they ordered it. There was no option to choose a glossy or a matte finish. So as for the durability of this finish, it's not fantastic, I'll be honest with you. I love this bumper in every way. I would never change a thing about it. I would buy it again in a heartbeat. But I'm not a person who cares completely about the look of the Jeep. The bumper hits things, the rear bumper hits things, you know, the tires have scuff marks on them, the rims have marks from rocks. But I do think if you're gonna sell a bumper for this much money, the texture, the coating has to be quality. It has to be high quality. The, if you're selling a product like this, a stubby off-road bumper with light tabs and a heavy duty winch plate, obviously it's going to be taking some sort of beating. It's going to be used. Being said, the texture, the finish isn't great. It isn't 100%, but I would give it an eight out of 10. From what I've put this through, it's held up fantastic. I have bashed this into trees. I've bashed this into other cars. The corners have gone on rocks. It's gone through hell and back. And it's held up quite well. One complaint I do have is with the winch plate. It's not the same textured finish as the bumper is. Even though they came from the same website, they're from the same company, the winch plate is painted a different texture than the bumper. It's coated in something different. And whatever they coated the winch plate with does not look fantastic. It's faded into this matte, like gray, pale gray color. And it doesn't look great with the, uh, with the bumper, to be honest. I wish they would have covered that winch plate with the same textured finish, the coating that they used on the rest of the bumper. Now, this Bulldog bumper is also equipped with D-ring mounts, with D-ring mounts, shackle mounts, whatever you want to call them. These are included, they're not an option, and they're welded on. That's what I like about it. Now, on here I have some Vault three-quarter inch shackles. Um, those I'll cover in a different video, but those have worked great. And I've had these on for the same amount of time that I've had the bumper on. Now I pulled a lot of things out. <laughs> That's what she said. Or he said. And a lot of things have pulled me out using these shackle mounts, no complaints there. They've held up nice and strong. I should also mention that in here, I do have the Smitty Built XRC winch, 9,500 pounds with the rolling fair lead. Um, I've had those on, I've had that on, also the same amount of time that I've had the bumper on. And uh, I don't think that makes much of a difference. Uh, the winch plates are pretty universal for the mounting holes. I just figured before any of you asked, Smitty Built XRC 9,500 with the rolling fair lead. That's on the heavy duty winch plate mounted to the Bulldog stubby front bumper. Now, as for install time on something like this, it took me about an hour, an hour and a half. It took longer to remove the stupid milk jug plastic ends of the stock bumper than it did to put a lot of this on. It was fairly easy, it bolted right on, no modifications had to be made, and I did it on Christmas morning in about an hour and a half. Half of that time was spent drinking eggnog. And so that, my friends, is my year and a half, two year review of the Bulldog stubby front winch bumper for Jeep TJs and Jeep YJs. Now, as I said before, I love the bumper. I love the way it looks. It's held up to what I put it through and I can appreciate that. The finish, you know, it could use some work. Am I complaining? No way. Fits my winch well. It's worked well. The shackle mounts have held up to the abuse that I've put them through being pulled and pulling other things. And the bumper is held up to the love taps I've given it against trees and rocks and other things. So I thank you all very much for watching. Um, comment and down below any questions or comments you guys have about this bumper or about any other parts on my Jeep. Be sure to browse my other Jeep playlist that has some install videos, um, some Jeep adventures that I've gone on with my brother in his Jeep JK. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you hated it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy motoring.